What's up lovely people, Marwan Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to defeat rats. Uh, this is the Triss quest, and uh, I think you get it on level 17. I'm not sure exactly what level it was, but uh, it's extremely difficult on death march with enemy, enemy upscaling on if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm here to show you what skills you should take, oils, decoctions, uh, what oil you should apply also on your sword so that you don't take much damage. Uh, they uh, they count as beasts, so you want to use beast oil for this fight. Uh, but let's start with the skills here. I usually go for bear school techniques here just to get my vitality up. But I do suggest that you use fast attacks for this particular fight because they're they're just going to move very quickly and they're going to be extremely annoying to uh, to hit if you just do the strong attacks. But if you find more success with strong attacks, go for it. I'm just using bear school techniques here because we're going to use a heavy armor and get the 20% extra vitality. So I'm going to use that. Uh, metabolic control. Uh, if I've done my calculations right, you need approximately, I think it is 36 skill points. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. I did not check. Uh, but we can see after this how many skill points we used. So not too many. You, at this level, like at level 25, you should have 36 skill points because you can get pl places of power and uh, you can easily get to 36 skill points. So, three skill points here, uh, vitality, and if you go for strong attacks, 20% uh, more damage to strong attacks. Metabolic control to give you, uh, to give yourself more toxicity, uh, to increase your toxicity level so you can pop more potions and more oils without reaching you know, without getting full and possibly getting killed by not having healing up. Uh, gourmet is so that you regen 80, 80 vitality per second in the fight, and uh, this will work the whole fight. So this fight should not take more than five minutes. So even if you're like mostly dodging and stuff, uh, at like at the end, like when you when you reach a certain threshold with the Griffin decoction, you should not take any damage. So. Enough about that, let's go to the Alchemy Skill Tree and pop 5 points into Heightened Tolerance and then 3 points into Acquired Tolerance. Uh, and this is so that you can't get poisoned if you reach like 100% Toxicity. Uh, nothing's gonna happen, you're not gonna take poison damage. And this is so you increase your Toxicity level so you can pop more potions and uh, have more decoctions on at the same time. Protective Coating. Uh, we are fighting beasts, and uh, this is so that you get damage reduction against beasts. Very simple. So, 25% damage reduction against the rats, which is huge. Tissue transmutation, you get, depending on how many decoctions you pop, pop in this fight, uh, between two and 3,000 more health. Usually you pop two or three decoctions. I, I think I popped two decoctions in this fight, and I was fine. And uh, muscle memory, uh, because we're gonna use fast attacks mostly. And then resolve here so that we don't lose any adrenaline in the fight. Here, we're gonna use Undying. So if you, if they manage to get a good amount of damage on you, you're not gonna die and you're gonna proc instead. So that's it for skills. Uh, in the end, how many did we use? That's uh, 20 skill points, 25, 20, uh, 33, 4, 5, and 6. 36 skill points. Okay, so 36 skill points, and I would suggest that you use green mutagens here. Uh, if you have huge problems against these, you'll get some more vitality, which is nice. So this unlocks at 26, and this at 30, so uh, th we can remove this. This is actually level 28, so uh, most of you guys are probably going to go into this fight between level 20 and uh, 25. I suggest that you go in at 25, then you have the level two, level two um, Ursan armor, and you should take even less damage. But if you want to go earlier, take as many of the important skills as possible that I have put in here. Uh, I think the alchemy skills and the general skills are more important than the the combat skills. So that's just my opinion. You could try whatever you want, but then uh, let's say you go at level 18, then you're going to have all of this unlocked here and even this uh, mutagen slot. So that's it for skills. Let's go into our 
gear, I would suggest that you use either level 20 Ursan armor or level 25 Ursan armor. So one of those with the swords, obviously. So Ursan swords as well. And uh, for your uh, oil, I would suggest that you use uh, beast oil here. So that's going to give you the damage reduction. Make sure you have you have it applied all the time so you get that 25% damage reduction against the rats. So for the oil, that's it. Uh, for decoctions, I would pop the Arcos decoction because it gives damage reduction. And then the Griffin decoction, this will make it so that you get tankier and tankier and tankier uh, in the fight, the longer the fight goes on. So if you pop these two, you should not die. Uh, make sure that you don't get ganged up. You will die if you just stand still. You want to move all the time in the fight. And I suggest that you pop Tawny Oil. Uh, hopefully at this stage you should have Superior Tawny Oil, which will give you some stamina regeneration in combat, and it's just great. Uh, so that's pretty much it for those. And eat something in the fight that regenerates 80 vitality. It doesn't matter what. Whatever that regens 80 vitality. Make sure you have Superior, uh, superior Swallow or Swallow and White Raffer's Decoction in the fight. So you, this is just going to give you a burst of health and this will slowly regenerate vitality in the fight. Both are great for the fight. Northern Wind for bombs uh, will actually make freeze all the rats that are uh, close to you or depending on where you toss it. It will freeze all the rats that are there and you can get a couple of hits in and uh, it works great in the fight. I tried other bombs but I didn't have great success with those. So let's just watch the fight and I'll go through it and show you what my mindset is and where to go exactly. All right, let's check it out. So here the fight starts. Uh, I do not have the right oil on, so already a big mistake. But as soon as the fight starts, you can see like all most of the rats are near Triss. Just, just get away from her. Don't stand ne next to her. Just go to this location where I am right now. Uh, here I go and I... Pop the beast oil, and I have 40 charges, and I'm trying to hit as much as possible. But you can see with the beast oil on, we don't take much damage at all. But you can see they like if we didn't have if we weren't this tanky, one hit would take like a third or uh, maybe even half your health, depending on what level you are and what skills you have chosen. But you can see here we we don't have we don't have a difficult time. I mean, even though the beast oil. Uh, ran out for some reason uh everything is fine like we're not we're not dying just make sure you move like i do dodge a little bit and uh put put your shield on hit a little bit and uh just don't get greedy in this fight make sure you just move don't roll dodge like i do here you can see they the problem with the rats is they usually hit you like they hit you uh the same time and you take a good amount of damage when when they hit you like if five or six rats hits you at once it's gonna be a lot of damage uh, that you're gonna take so I don't know what happened maybe the I don't know what happened to my uh, my oil on my sword there but yeah we're still we're still fine here as you can see no problem we're not dying pop a northern wind to stun them and regen some health and then get a couple of hits in like you can see, it's it's a very, very easy fight if you just know what you're doing. This is by far the best spot to go to as well with these rats. So if you go to Triss, you're going to have all the rats collapsing at you at once. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to you're going to die if you go if you go close to her. So just stay in this particular area and uh, just hit. You will miss tons of, of shots when you uh, face these rats. You will miss so many attacks. So just make sure you hit. And this is why I like the fast attacks more in this fight, because you get more hits in than the strong attacks, actually. So the fight is over. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, wish you good luck and uh, hope you're not going to have any problems either. Catch you guys later. Peace.